schools of Marx. It's costing the Exchequer millions changing them back into sterling, but that's a problem for the government. Now the chappies we're interested in are involved in far more ambitious forms of crime. And they're getting free transport from the RAF. Take Dusseldorf. A Luftwaffe hangar crammed with paintings and furniture looted from France by the retreating German troops. It was collected together by a wing commander with some army germs. Outside Hanover, three pilots of fighter command were paid to smuggle sterling and dollars into Germany on a considerable scale. It was a joint operation with some American officers stationed in Frankfurt. Oh, it's messy. And unless we clear up this mess ourselves, we're going to have this damn government poking about. I want these chaps frightened, stamped on, and stopped before they do any more damage to the RAF. Now, that means it's urgent. From now on, you're all off any other cases. Tomorrow, you fly to Hanover for a briefing. Now, any questions you may have are better answered in Germany than by me. Thank you, gentlemen. You may go. Thank you, sir. Sir? Can I have a word, sir? Yes, of course, Colonel. What's the problem? I just started work on the Stalagraf III inquiry. Yes, I know that. And this takes precedence? As far as you're concerned, yes. That's my decision. In which case, I must say that I find the decision an extraordinary one, sir. Do you? I'm sorry. We are hunting for some German bastards who shot 50 RAF officers in cold blood. Suddenly, it seems a bit of smuggling is more important. There are other officers on the Stalagluft Three inquiry, and I've taken you off it because you're the right man for this particular problem. Then I wish to register my protest, sir. Top will be noted. Look, oh, Jeff. We all know the search for these Gestapo bastards is more important than anything, but that doesn't mean that SIP can ignore everything else. These are big-time smugglers picking at the bones of Germany. Now, that doesn't do any good for any of us. Not for the RAF. Not Britain. Well, that's all. Mixture. Auto rich set. Pitch twenty five fifty. Open line out here unten, eh? Come on now. That's not here to take you back. Zack, I could be home in Hamburg in three hours. You don't think we'll send you back in an aeroplane, do you, Johan? It would be fairly uh, pleasant. Come on, get on with it. Do you think they'll swallow it? Swallow what? It's a well, bad weather last time. Fuel gauge is this. Will you stop fretting? Well, I'm not. I'm just shitting bricks. All yours. All right? They're sending a couple of instrument bashers. Should take them about 25 minutes. Would you believe it? Bloody things are all right again. Damn that drawing up. Please, love. 
Yeah, some of my POWs thought it had come to take them to Germany. Engine trouble, I reckon. Well, what was a truck doing there, then? Truck? What truck? I don't think this one's going to lead us anywhere, sir. Small fry. Nobody behind it. Still one less. Right, get those two over to the guard room. That's Marlow there, sir. Hey, Dickie. What? Looks as if they caught some poor bugger there with an illegal box of chocolates. Oh, yes. Marlow. Another off route landing. East Anglia. Thank you, Sergeant. Well, Gordon Leader Marlow. Yes? You made an unscheduled landing in the UK yesterday. Yes. At an unmanned satellite field in East Anglia, reported by the local Bobby. Really? How splendid. You reported problems with your fuel gauges. That's right. You radioed for mechanics, but when they arrived, you had taken off again. Oh, well, she'd sorted herself out by then. Funny ladies, Dakota's very temperamental. Probably something I said made her suck. You know how it is with women. Sorry if we caused a fuss. I want an answer, Marlowe, not a lot of precious pilots chat. You haven't asked me a question. What would be the point? I wouldn't expect to hear the truth from you or any member of your crew. Must be very frustrating being a chocolate policeman. Why don't you do something serious with your life and go and look for a few chocolate war criminals? There must be something useful you can do. I'll have that one. I'll have him bound and gagged and served up on a plate. <laughs> 